This week, Garen and Ellie finish the stucco on the earth bag cabin. Dad installs another kitchen cabinet, and Bryson continues on the new aquaponics system. Living up here in the mountains has really been a lot of fun. Uh, the summer up here is just gorgeous. The air is just beautiful to breathe. It, if it rains up here, the smells are just really cool. I've uh, seen some elk and stuff too. Yeah, really cool. the elk just walking around out here. Right outside our trailers. Yeah. yeah. Woo, we're so close. We just have this section right there. And then we're, we're done. It's stuck up. Diesel taking his usual position. Can I say, we got fat and happy dogs. That's just a little more. Curious. Life happens, especially mm -hmm. when you live out like this. You have these interruptions to pull this off of the kitchen project for a while. Mm. I'm so excited that you're working on these again, Gare. I'm excited to get back to this too. We've got some doors and things and drawers. Big cabinet back here to be able to finish up. The barn has taken a battering, but luckily. The section we're working under is still completely intact. And if you can see, the paint booth behind me is also intact. Got probably about a month before the monsoon comes up. So mm -hmm. we're gonna try to squeak by and utilize that space. That's all coming down when the kitchen project is done. Unless the weather beats us to it. Hey, what's going on? I got these cleaned up. I'm gonna brush them down, clean out that area so we can get the paint booth going. All right, Shay. Are you ready for this, a painting experience? Yes. So this is what she's gonna be painting. Like that, perfect. And then go down. Perfect. He just showed me how to do it. He told me what to do. The root, root, and the root, root. It looks phenomenal. She's just gonna paint from now on. She did a great job. She's the painter. You go to her if you need something painted. And we had this discussion about where's the silverware go? And this is the cabinet next to the fridge. And I was thinking if the fridge is over there, you'd probably open from this side. How many drawers are you going to put in here? You want four? Like three? Three or four. Oh, do we want small drawers? What do you think, Bree? And inch. then the last one is like Eight. that? Got it. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. That okay. sounds good. Oh, I'll bet you this is the face of those cabinets, huh? Get ready to head on. This looks really good, Dad. Thank you. Dad's got the main cabinet all ready to paint, and then he'll be able to put everything together. I decided to use this fiberglass repair kit on binding these two pipes together, but I realized that the resin might be a problem with the fish. People build wooden fish tanks and they make and they cover the whole fish tank with it, and they're like, I've never had a problem. I think we'll be okay. Bryson asked for rubber gloves, but unfortunately the only rubber gloves that we have that are full rubber are these. Bryson, I brought you some red rubber gloves. Red? Yes, bright, fiery, hot rod red. Good, because I, I needed Duke gloves. Yeah, you got manly gloves. On the fiberglass kit, recommended to wear gloves. Like, ah, I'll be good. I just won't spill any, I'll be good. Yeah, no, I recommend wear gloves. <laughs> Maybe not these gloves. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're really excited about the aquaponic system. It's been something that we've been wanting to do for a, a really a long, long time. When we had our rainwater barrels, and I really like those because we put the floats on and it would regulate how much water was in the self water. The problem is with all those rainwater containers gone now, I don't really want to do self water because I don't want to water my self water. So, <laughs> right? So it was time to move on to the aquaponics. That look kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah. We came up with a strategy for saving water in the desert, and one was the self-water containers, and the second was all of the mulch basins and trying to slow down water when it came to try to keep as much on the land. as Just a few minutes, this will harden. That's so weird. I got a chance to walk up on a hill that was right next to us and look out, and our property is significantly greener than most. I really do think the basins really yeah, work well. Okay. Sweet. Cool beans. You're finally getting a chance to do, which is the aquaponic. And it, yeah, it's about 90% savings on water. Slowly getting it piece by piece. Oh, wow, okay. It looks awesome. Hope it'll work. 
We are gonna be making some lotion. Karen Vander Vander, she sent us all the supplies we need to make it. All we have to do is just dump in whatever she sent, which is my kind of recipe. No having to measure anything out. I don't know what to put in first. There's so many fun things to put in. All oh, this is really slick. I'm trying to think of some good lotion puns, but it's all slipping my mind. <laughs> Ooh, it smells real good. I think some aloe vera next. We actually just pruned all of our aloe vera, our little bed of aloe vera. No. Oh, it's just a weed. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> I was like just plucking things and throwing them, and I was like, just see if the pig will eat them. Mm. Yeah, he's happy. The dry them ones just come right out like that. It's in the winter. Yeah. We're just gonna leave it here to make the ground more fertile. This stuff just comes right out. You don't even have to cut it. I want to make this basin look a little nicer too. Oh, you made a happy pig, Shay. You, you like aloe? You like that? I'll lay it there and see if he eats it. These are little mesquite trees and they're known for their roots. So this is the size of the mesquite tree and the root is actually longer. These roots can dive down to about 100 feet, which is why they work so well in the desert. Finishing up the aloe basin, we kind of give it a little trim. We do that, I think, every year. And adding these little things to keep the pigs out. To keep the pig. There's not two, but the pig out. Yeah, I'm almost done. Looks good. It does. It does. The motion of the lotion. Eh, if only we had a way of taking these little sound effects. 10 out of 10. Save the best for last. Oh yeah, look at that. You know, this is fun. All of the, the lotion-y ingredients have been squirted and flopped, blobbed in the bowl. Now the super fun project is upon us, which is this baby, which also was included. Thank you, Karen. This is fantabulous. Oh yeah, that's real power right there. The first bowl, it looks like frosting, but doesn't smell like frosting. Definitely would not recommend human consumption on that kind of level. She mentioned that you could put it in some cute little containers and use them as Christmas gifts. So family, prepare yourself because you're getting this for Christmas. Not kidding. <laughs> Are we ready to try some? Oh yeah. Probably not gonna be opening any doors for a little while. Very good stuff. Thank you very much, Karen, for your wonderful gift of both items and lotion goodness to make this and also for sharing your recipe with us. We really appreciate it. If you would like to use Karen's recipe, we have it down in the description below. Uh, make yourself some fabulous cream. Oh wow, Yui, did you eat everything? Let me go see. Oh my gosh. You ate the whole pile, Yui. You ate everything, Yui. Were you hungry? Yeah? That was good? It's like to the last drop, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, you got them! There they are. Wow. All of the bins. Is that going to be perfect? Yeah, they really are. Okay, here we go. That's all. We're not only going to be growing vegetables, but we're going to be raising meat as well with the fish. I when we first moved out to the property, we wanted to be milking goats, we wanted to be having eggs, and we wanted to raise our own animals to process. So I love That's the exciting. idea of fish because processing animals isn't really that much fun. Fish are a little easier than most. You know, they kind of just go, <laughs> how are you going to get attached to them? We will get fish designed for meat eating purposes, okay. and we will know they will be for meat eating purposes. But you can raise a lot of fish in a yeah. very small area. Most most people in the world eat meat. We have some vegetarians obviously out there as well, but to actually have to process your own, that's, that's a... That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. That takes that's a certain fun. special kind of grit that I don't think we possess grit. that grit. <laughs> so let's hope that we can process the fish. I think we're gonna be able to do it. I think it. we'll be able to do it too. Ta-da! Now that's a hole. Just goes in there like that. These unit seals are pretty amazing. And then this pipe presses into that one, but uh, that takes muscle power I don't possess at the moment. Your position number My two. minion cup. There it was, innocently sitting on the counter. And now he's gonna... Put some soap on there with some water. Not easy to do. Taking it off the pedestal. A little bit different angle on this thing, huh? Really I am mourning about. that cup. That's what's happening. She's very upset about me taking her cup. <laughs> I just don't know. understand. Like, you? Whoa, did it go in? Yes. Woo. A lot of work, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's been a lot of work holding this camera, yeah. I'll say. We are gonna slap some paint on these little suckers, keep them from deteriorating. I know we had some folks over on our Twitter say, oh, careful with the plastic, it'll deteriorate. We absolutely agree with you. That is why we paint all of our plastic that's gonna be sitting out in the sun. With these guys, we've got some green paint, so it'll kind of blend in a little bit. I'm holding it because I need someone to push on the other side of that barrel so that there's less pressure on the pipe. That's it. Thanks. All done with the piping in. Did you do the other side? Yeah, actually the other side's pretty oh, cool. Oh, let's go look. Right now we can look what it is, so. I have yet to fiberglass everything in. Okay. But this will be where the pipe sets. The water oh. should flow over this edge and down into this one here. Oh. Now I'll fiberglass this end of it to seal it. Sure. I won't even tell you what's been happening like at Mark's when I walk over there. That fish gets so excited. He knows he's gonna Oh no! No, don't tell us that! <laughs> Don't tell us that! <laughs> right, so let's just not worry about that. And yeah. Ignore that statement. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> we end up with 50 fish, can't get rid of a single one. Maybe we'll go in the fish selling business. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Because the winters up here are so harsh, we're not really planning on living up here. It's just a little too cold for us desert folk. We're planning on this place being more of a vacation home that we come up to and spend a little time at in the summers, as well as... Yeah. In fall, maybe? Huh? Yeah, maybe fall. It'll be more of a cooler getaway from the hot desert. That's kind of what we're planning. We finished up the stucco, for the most part, but I may have made a little bit too big of a batch. We have one spot up here, it's got a pretty big gap on it. We were gonna fill it. I wedged a board up in there, and I think we're just gonna fill it with stucco, and then we'll pull the board out, and it should be a nice little cement block up there. I absolutely love the spice rack that you made for me. Everything is right there. Building the spice rack, it was one of those ideas where you look around the internet for what do I do? Sometimes you can go out and buy these special wire racks that fit inside drawers that are all pre-fit. But it just seemed as simple as a little two pieces of wood. Look at that, huh? Hallelujah. It's simple and it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, and it's right there by the stove, so you're cooking and you spice. There you go, you're all set. That is so cool. Isn't that nice? And you just see them right here. It'll make it easier to make ramen. This is never good right here. Hey, Bullet, help us out here. Where do they get in at? Where do they cop it? How'd they get in? I might have to code that a couple more times. Definitely gonna try growing some sugar cane. When we first moved out here, I was very excited about sugar cane, and I bought one off of eBay, and I had it shipped out here. It's growing, it was growing over there. And we had adopted one of those wild donkeys. She reached over the fence, plucked it up, and one gulp, it was gone. Best bite of food you've probably ever had and you'll ever have in your entire life. Not to mention, I wish you the best of luck with your sugar cane. I no more help. donkeys, so I think we're, we're good on that. So to test for leaks, we're gonna fill the pipes with water. I mostly want to make sure that there's no leaks in this pipe. What? Oh man. All right, well that's a patch job. No, there's, I spilt water, so hard to tell. I think we're good here. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Obvious hole. Had a few leaks, so the cool thing about fiberglass is you can just come back and patch it. We had a few leaks, maybe just a couple. Let's take it right here. 
This dog is all limbs. I don't know what this dog is. He is he's not dog? growing to the size look, we thought he would. Look at this thing. All what limbs. is this? Limbs. All limbs on deck. Oh. Is, is he, he even a, dog? Is he a Are sweetie? you even dog? This is, this is mom's dog. The parts came uniseal here and aquarium grade silicone. And this is the pump. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It's so, a different pump system than we were originally going to do. Yeah, we were originally going to get a water pump like everyone else. You buy a water pump to pump the water around. Then you have to also get an air pump because oxygen needs to be in the system. All right, let's so let's go install it. And by the time you're done with that, you end up spending a lot of money in pumps. So you get a water pump, you get an air pump, and then... The one we looked at had a pump, and I think he had two or three air pumps. And I remember back when I was like 10, and I had a little fish tank out here, and I yeah. was experimenting with some aquaponic systems. I used a little air pump for a little fish tank, and I put that inside of like a quarter-inch PVC pipe. Yeah. And I was able to pump it up and fill the bell siphon up. What was so cool about that is, one pump, it aerates the water and pumps all the water. But when the air comes up... It kind of carries the water. Carries the water with it. I like that. that. You're hearing me. Waterfall and <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Love it. I like this plan. I'm very excited about it. Well, I'll laugh at it. Is there going to be an airline right here? It's going to enter in somewhere right here and go up that way. So let's go ahead and uh, get a hole for it. Perfect. Almost a foot from the bottom. I have a zip tie. And we'll zip tie it all the way up water could potentially go down the pump. So to prevent that, we're gonna go up real high, all the way up to here, and then the water will have to travel up through this entire tube to get around the edge. If that ever does happen, it will act like a siphon. water level gets to about here somewhere, so our plants are gonna kind of be deeper in the pot. But that's okay, they can be deep. One of the last supplies we need for this, the rock. Hey! Hey! Lots of rock. Let's go uh, unload them, yeah? Yeah, go oh, for it. Here, good, help. These are the bottoms of the drawers. Ooh. I'm pretty excited right about there. my fancy drawers. Right there, fancy schmancy. Unbelievable. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> the bottoms to the drawers. Ah, unbelievable. It's funny though, weren't you kind of happy to get a little break from it though? Too? Yeah, I, I think I was kind of happy, but I had been driven to get everything done. Now I'm pretty excited. That little break just gets you really fired up. Now I'm hoping we can power through it and not get any more unexpected things come up. Exciting. This is pretty cool, isn't it? These have holes. Oh, for that, that's for the hinges. All right, Shay, what's happening? <laughs> well, I think I got the last of them done. You're done? I think so. Ah, you missed the spot! <laughs> Just kidding. You were totally not painting. This is hard work on face. Job, beautiful makeup job. Okay, I'll have a tutorial in the description. <laughs> okay. Excellent, and then that'll probably be all the doors that go on it, yeah. We finished the stucco! Woo! Mm. We finally got done with this, probably the biggest project. Everything went really smoothly stuccoing this thing and turned out really, really nicely. So we're yeah, very it's pleased. very hard, not gonna fall off this time, so. <laughs> Well, that wraps up this week. The merch design of the week I'm pretty excited about is our very first front and back 
design that we've done. Hammer time. If you'd like to pick this up, we have it in all kinds of t-shirts. I've also added a few extra merchandise, different types of shirts and sweatshirts and stuff as well for this particular design because there's two designs instead of one. There's a 15% off sale now through Tuesday. If you'd like to pick up a discounted t-shirt, be sure to check it out. The link will be down in the description. As always, if you'd like to pick up this design or any of the designs that we've done in the past, you can check it out right there. We Thanks for being a part of our family. We'll see you next Friday. Bye! So, I, got, I got a lot growing in, in my backyard. What are you talking about? I just rip it out of the ground because it's so green. It's a jungle back there, don't you uh -huh. know? I just, oh, I just yeah. go lock it. I them was up. wondering why she's in her room so much. <laughs> <laughs> you guys open it up and there's like like monkeys swinging from vines, a bunch of banana trees. Around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll bump the saturation up super high. So it'll be, it won't be pink. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Yeah, I feel better about that. Very doodly. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> he is the oldest. He's right. <laughs> okay. There. All right. Yeah. Um, we finished the stucco. Woo! That was, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs>